Next question we have today is from a channel called Pop Up Chem, even though I'm sure I'm pronouncing that wrong. Basically, the question, I won't read the whole lot out, but it's saying he started cycling. He's now cycling five or six days a week. He used to be a power lifter or like doing some strength training before. So he's gone back to strength training to develop some strength, to develop some power. He's only training once a week and he's really finding it hard to balance five or six cycling sessions a week and one strength training session per week. So the first thing to look at here is, is one session of strength training a week enough? Realistically, it's not. If you look at most of the kind of peer reviewed literature, if you look at most strength training programs that are out there right now, bar a few off the wall kind of alternative programs, very few people would recommend a frequency of once per week, unless it was strictly deadlifting and you were doing alternative strength work on the other days, once a week is probably okay for deadlifting. It's probably not okay for anything else. So pop em up Chem is saying that he does squat, bench, press, rows, a multitude of strength training exercises in this one session. Realistically, you're not going to be able to find a good balance between six cycling sessions and one strength training session a week. The second thing I would look at then is why are you doing five or six cycling sessions a week? We all enjoy training of different forms. There's definitely times where you just use training or you use physical exercise to kind of relieve stress or whatever it is. You might just really enjoy doing it or you might enjoy the people you do it with. Realistically, if you're looking for a physiological adaptation from cycling as a modality of training, five or six sessions a week is probably a bit too much unless you're way, way down the road of like being a very experienced cyclist or you're competing in some cycling discipline. So what would we recommend? Realistically, we recommend a, a better mix. If you're looking to strength train, even if it's just strength training for like better physical health and being a more effective cyclist, probably three sessions a week is, is loads. Three sessions a week of well thought out, moderate programming without any crazy kind of increases in volume, without any crazy driving up of intensity is probably gonna be perfect. You could still cycle four days a week on that without ever having to double up, even though you might be better to take one full rest day. So like take a Sunday off and you might do a double session on a Tuesday or Wednesday, someday in the middle of the week. So I think the important thing here is to figure out what your main focus is. So is cycling the thing you want to do and you want to get better at? Then the minimum of the strength training will do. So obviously there's a lot of benefits for strength training for endurance athletes, cardiovascular benefits. Uh, we'll probably get to those at a different time. You can imagine those in your head. But the problem with strength training is it supports a lot of things at the detriment to itself. So strength training will support basically every sport in the world, probably and up to even including uh, chess, if you consider that a sport. So strength training is good for absolutely everything at the decrement of strength training's own progress. So the other end of that then though, is that strength training is influenced negatively basically by every other sport to a certain extent. So a little bit of cardio, for example, if you flip this around, so if you're doing cardio once a week, as opposed to strength training five to six times a week, you'd see a lot of benefits to your strength training because a little bit of cardio does benefit your strength training. And we've done that in other videos, if you want to go check that out. But I think the important thing is just to realize what your goals are and to realize that one of these they both interact together. However, there are some really negative consequences to one or both of those in terms of um, of your cardiovascular, for example, or your strength. So realistically, your cardio, more strength will only benefit your cardio. Um, you could probably match the number of sessions with your cardio and your strength training and your cardio will still do quite well. But the other way around does not work. So the way you are in this scenario, you are not really supporting any particularly positive strength gains. So you do need to, like Fitz said, up the number of those and the frequency of those a little bit more and probably reduce the number of cardiovascular sessions you're doing. Finally, last thing we would like to invite people to our new masterclass series. So it's going to be online webinars, seminars, lectures on a variety of different subjects. Our first one is the masterclass on back squats. So we're going through programming, technique, and then we'll be doing a Q&A section in the lecture. So it'll be 90 minutes long. The price of the admission for the first lecture is 30 euro. At the time of watching this, we're probably going to already be full for the first one. So numbers will be limited per lecture. If you want to register interest, however, send us an email at seekestrength at gmail.com and we will do overflow lectures to a certain extent. So we'll probably do between two and three overflow lectures per subject. 
Uh, after that, then we will be archiving them and putting them behind the paywall, as a lot of people have asked for that, as obviously attending a live lecture is difficult and we want people to be able to get the content. Uh, subjects will be ranging from plyometrics for athletes, designing an off-season for rugby players, snatch techniques. So there'll be all different subjects that we usually talk about, but a little bit more in-depth. And then really part of that is we want to leave sufficient time for people to be able to interact with us. So that's why we keep the numbers smaller so people can ask their questions and kind of we can kind of solve your problems. It'll benefit the other people in the group because it'll be really specific in context questions and we'll be able to figure out how we can help those people as best as possible. So at the time of what recording, there is one place left for the first master class in back squat. And so definitely if you're interested, email them to get them live. The benefit of being there live essentially is that we'll help you as much as possible and then for people who can't or don't want to make the live ones there will be a paywall version which we'll be happy to bring to you finally and just something we're always going to radiate if you stick around the youtube long enough and you watch thousands of hours of us you'll get all that information eventually we'll, we'll we put we put out everything we know essentially we, there's no paywall for our information we're not withholding it in terms of you know we'll never put out that information we might put out that information in four different videos over the next six months or whatever so if you're like fuck I, I don't think i can afford lectures you will have all that information eventually if you're shrewd and you're willing to watch thousands of hours of us but if you wanted a little more niche kind of combined lecture series and if you really want to get some help from us directly with a bit more time check out the lecture series thanks guys